Okay, folks, we're here with president of Lot 2, uh, Grandmother Robin, and she just got back with another trade for me of salmon and some uh, strawberries, and you said the first blueberries off the Lot 2? Yes, too? the first blueberries. Look at that. Plus, and she brought me a beautiful sage plant. From the Barter Fair in Tequilma, Oregon, and they, all their stuff is heirloom. Wonderful. Okay, well, and this works out perfectly because it comes on my wife's birthday where I wasn't going to have time to harvest any protein today, so that's just perfect. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> well, of course, folks, it's evening time, and uh, I just start my, to get out here, it's been nice and kind of dry all day. I get out here to do my fire, and it starts to sprinkle. So it's starting to rain. We'll see how this goes with me cooking my dinner time. Oh, boy. So, what's on the menu tonight? On the menu tonight is stuffed crab cheese puffs. Now, I am doing the most faux pas, not real crab cheese puffs I think I could ever imagine. Uh, I don't have cream cheese, of course, nor do I have crab. Um, nor do I have a wonton wrappers or anything fancy like that. So, we're doing my version tonight of crab cheese puffs. To start with, we're using salmon. And my cream cheese is my package of powdered milk with zucchini mashed into it. And my egg roll wrappers are going to be Native American fry bread. So in other words, a stuffed Native American fry bread with smoked salmon, zucchini, and uh, a milk paste, <laughs> a flavored milk paste. All right, folks, let's see how this turns out tonight. Okay, so here's my milk and zucchini mix. It's kind of runny a little bit, but that's okay. We'll make it work. And then over here is my bread dough. That's I just threw a little flour over it so that when I come to grab it, it doesn't stick to my hands. But it's more doughy than what it looks like. And uh, the oil going, which has already been over hot. And I had to add a little more oil in it just to cool it down so that it was not doing anything while I was not ready yet for it. Now the last step is for me to grab a little bit of that salmon meat and pull it off and get it ready to go as well. I think I'll make two of these for myself tonight and that ought to cover most of it. If I'm still hungry after that, I'll take this zucchini and milk mixture that I made and I'll add some potatoes and some other things and turn it into a soup if I'm still hungry later on tonight. Okay, that was my first one cooking in there, man. It's looking really good. I'm really liking this concept. I forgot to mention, I believe, earlier that my dough over here is at least 20% pure minced garlic, because I love me some garlic. And having that doughy, that garlicky bread is just such a good idea. Well, it's looking nice and golden now. I'm going to give it a few more seconds just for that zucchini and the other things in there before I pull it out. Okay, folks. That's it for tonight. Those three little poppers there, and they're pretty huge, actually. I mean, when you consider that's my hand, they're about the size of my hand almost. And they're, you know, take up my whole entire palm, each one of them. So they're pretty big. Uh, they're about half that salmon almost, plus bread, zucchini, and other things mixed in there. So uh, I think they should fill me up. If not, as I said, I'm going to make a soup out of that other stuff if I need to. But it's. It's starting to rain heavy at this moment, so, well not heavy, but it's going to, going to be raining heavy. You can feel it starting to come down, the drops are starting to get bigger and bigger. Um, you can hear the water of the rain landing inside the oil over there. So uh, I'm going to head in and watch a movie with my wife and spend the rest of the night indoors most likely for the first time in nine days. Uh, feels a little strange hanging out indoors. And uh, I'll give you a check-in in the morning as I move back out to the outside. My poor kitty is so confused. She's still staying indoors in, in the tent. She doesn't understand. She's like, why is daddy out here? I don't get it. Why isn't daddy here? Okay. Um, well, that's about it. I'll talk at you guys later. Oh, one quick thing. That zucchini, again, is going to last me two or three days. It's amazing how big these things are. Just, this is only, I think, the second one I've had to harvest, or maybe the third one I've had to harvest. 
and it's lasted me nine days. Amazing.